Hello there, Nareg is here. Today I'm going to solve the first exercise from second session 2016 chemistry. So let's start. A substitute of table salt. The table salt, sodium chloride, is an important constituent of the Lebanese diet. However, consum consumption of the table salt should be limited to less than 1,500 milligrams per day, even for healthy individuals. Individuals suffering from high blood, pre high blood pressure, hypertension, must consume a substitute of table salt to lower sodium intake in their diet. One trade name of substitute of table salt is known as Lozalt, which is a mixture of sodium chloride and potassium chloride. A study of a chemical element X gave the following information. The relative charge of the electron cloud of the atom of the element X is 17 minus. The number of neutrons in the nucleus of the atom of the element X is greater than the number of protons by 1. N is equal to Z plus 1. Show that the atomic number of the element X is 17, knowing that the relative charge of an electron is 1 minus. So, we need to find out the atomic number. We already knew, they already mentioned that the relative charge of the electron cloud is 17 minus, and each electron has a relative charge of 1 minus. So you need to have 17 electrons in your, um, in the cloud of the atom. So 17 electrons, and it's a neutral at atom, so the uh, atomic number will be 17. Determine the mass number of the atom of the element X. So we know that in order to find out the mass number, which is A, it is equal to Z plus N. We already know Z is 17. And N, it can be written as Z plus Z plus 1 again. So it will be 17 plus 17 plus 1. So the total will be 35. This is the mass number of the atom the element X. Write the electron configuration of the atom of the element X. So we need to find out the uh, electron configuration. We have 17 electrons, so you will have K2, L8, M7. This is the electron configuration of the atom X. Now, choose among the couples given below the couple that corresponds to the placement of the element X in the periodic table justify your answer. Now, if you check the, uh, the, electron, com the electron configuration, it's K2L8 and 7, you have um, 7 valence electrons, so it means that this element X belongs to column 17 or group 7. And the number of energy levels that are used are 3, K, L, and M. So it means that it, is, it's, it belongs to row uh, 3 or period 3. So A, group 7, period 2, no. B, group 7, period 4, no. C, group 7, period 3, yes. As for D, group 6, period 2, again, no. The element X is chlorine Cl. The Lewis electron dot symbol of sodium atom is Na with a dot. Explain the bond formation of the compound sodium chloride NaCl. So, after referring to the Lewis electron dot symbol of the sodium, we can find out that Na has one valence electron in its, electro in its electron configuration. So this electron needs to be lost in order to obey the octet rule, and it will be transformed, Na will be transformed to Na plus ion. As for Cl, the chlorine, it has seven valence electrons, so it, it must gain one electron in order to obey the octet rule, and the Cl atom will be transformed in, in Cl minus ion. You will have Cl minus ion and Na plus ion, there will be a mutual attraction between these two ions and the formation of an ionic bond between them. Justify, based on the text, 
why the patient suffering from hypertension should use a substitute of the table salt. So individuals suffering from high blood, high blood pressure must consume a substitute table salt to lower sodium intake in their diet. That's the main issue. Whenever there is a high intake of sodium, it will lead to hypertension. So uh, in that case, you should use, the patient will, will have to uh, use a substitute of, uh, of this salt table and use low salt, for example, in order to lower this intake of sodium. That's all for this first exercise, second session 2016 chemistry. I hope it was helpful. I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my channel. You'll be notified whenever I upload new material, new videos. I can also share with you my Instagram and Facebook account. You can contact me directly or you can simply leave a comment below. That's all for this time and see you later.